Uh, let me show my sitting room first. Mm, that residential. Okay. That's residential. It's here. You saw it. You saw it. You saw it. You saw it. I'm showing you. Yes, I'm showing you. I'm showing you. Uh, my presidential sitting room. Where I'm making this video from. Uh, <coughs> First, my brothers and sisters, uh, it is my first video actually, uh, to record the video, it is my first video to make, uh, since I came out from prison in Uganda. Uh, and I have left Uganda, um, I'm now in another in country, which is not Uganda. Uh, the reason why I'm making this video is uh, to inform, because I came out from prison, uh, after four years in in, uh, in prison, when they were putting me under custody, uh, under castrations, so uh, I have not made a video because I make interview with other journalists, but I have not made a video personally to address uh, the people uh, about what has happened to me uh, because I receive a lot of uh, messages from my brothers and sisters. Uh, to make a video actually to tell the people what has happened to me in these four years and and what is actually happened because they just get all those fake news in the in the media but they need to listen from me uh, first of all all of you uh, who listen to this video uh, some know me and some doesn't know me but uh, actually 99 percent know me uh, because uh, I was ranked as the number one famous person in Africa. After when I done the, the uh, my my interview, that I, actually what made me to be more famous person in Africa is when in 2016, when the George Clooney wrote this uh, call center report. So the American actors wrote the center report called George Clooney. So and the, my videos and my photos was played in CNN, BBC, Al Jazeera. Uh, another international media so that will boost my uh, popularity to become a very famous person because uh, George Clooney revealed uh, my secret uh, he revealed my wealth now if you google Google Lawrence Van Mulan your junior wealth net it will tell you Lawrence Van Mulan your junior wealth net is 3.3 billion dollars which is actually I have more than that which uh, I have no problem. They say that the money that they consider that I have is 3.3 billion US dollars. Is the money that the Pop uh, magazine uh, put it, and and actually I have more than that. But most of the rest of the money they refuse. They say rest of the money is uh, from uh, his business partners of uh, J.P. Morgan, uh, which is not okay. It's not bad. They say Lauren they have 60 billion dollars. Uh, but that 60 billion US dollars is not his money. Uh, it's from JP Morgan. It's JP Morgan who gave him that a lot of money, 60 billion US dollars. Which you deny that is not mine, it's fine. Actually, that's why they've refused to, uh, to rank me as the most richest man in Africa because they say the money is not mine. The money uh, uh, for JP Morgan who are putting in investment in South Sudan, so they cannot count that 60 billion US dollars as, as my money, which is okay. But in the fact, is mine okay when the money left jp morgan uh, to south sudan uh, through my investment and also the company that they are investing in is i'm partnering with it so it means that the money are mine actually they're supposed to consider that i have what i have wealth net of 60 billion US dollars but they refuse uh, which is okay i have no problem for that so it's not the reason why i'm coming actually uh, the reason why i come it was just i told you that time uh, i've been in prison in Uganda, uh, I was charged uh, with uh, with money laundering. I was in anti-corruption uh, court of Uganda uh, in front of the judge called Judge Lauren Kududu, the the chief of the chief judge of anti-corruption uh, high court. Uh, so I was charged with the with the money laundering. Uh, then now when uh, Sarkar Tudor, so they add the case that uh, I took somebody uh, his money, uh, two million dollars, they put in the charge because they, they try to 
to, to forge the case, okay, to hold me, to steal my money. Uh, but and uh, thank God, uh, thank my Lord Jesus Christ, I have won the case. Uh, those that fake case that they were charging me of, of taking some people money and also money laundering because uh, I have won it. So I thank my Lord Jesus Christ for that, for making me resilient. Uh, then be fearful for taking good care of me when I was in prison. He sent me Holy Spirit to take good care of me. Uh, I was very healthy. I went to school in prison and I also I went and do Bible study in prison. So actually, <coughs> I can say that is the God who took me to prison actually to manifest His Son Jesus Christ to me because when I was outside, I love God. Jehovah Yahweh, Father, my lovely Lord Jesus Christ, and I love His Son Jesus Christ, and I love Holy Spirit. But I do not know God because I was controlling by money. <clears throat> but I love God because uh, the word called my Lord Jesus Christ never came out of my lips. Uh, so I love God so much. So, but I went and read the Bible from book of Genesis to Revelation because I do I done Bible study. So now. So when they charged me to the court, uh, those cases that I told you that the money laundering charges and, uh, and taking some people money, uh, taking somebody's money, not the people, they say one person, actually taking one person is money, they charged me two million that I took two million. Actually, which is very, very fake because the two million dollars that they were charging me that I took from somebody is less than, <laughs> than my wash. You see, this is my wash pure diamond okay is 2.5 million US dollars this is my watch this is my diamond watch is 2.5 million what 2.5 million US dollars and the money they were charging me they are charging me with 2 million US dollars that I have to get and they also they charge me with the money laundering and the money laundering case I accept mm, I told them the fact that uh, first of all I'm a foreigner in Uganda I'm not a Ugandan and uh, when I come to Uganda to do money laundering, I cannot do money laundering alone in Uganda. Uh, I was doing money laundering with uh, President Museveni. I told them in the court when I was in Uganda. I told them that the one that we do money laundering with is the President Museveni, who allowed me, okay, to pull the private jet with millions of dollars to land in Antebbe International Airport and procure, okay, and secure me to, to leave the airport with this a lot of money. Uh, millions of millions of dollars in cash who allowed me if the president Museveni was not involved they called the president Museveni let him come to court here and say Lawrence Lual Malong your junior we, we are we never involve ourselves in money laundering me and you okay because let him come here so the money that I usually bring to him to Uganda and I took it to his state house in Entebbe what are those money for so those are called money laundering money laundering people uh, I want to clarify one thing about the money laundering. Some people they don't know what is called money laundering. Uh, money laundering is when you have money in cash. Uh, when they don't know the source of the income. Because the source of money laundering is three. Okay. First of all, money laundering comes from the drug cartels. Those people who sell the drugs. Okay. And they accumulate a lot of money. Okay. With the money that they cannot put in the bank. And the money remain in the house, in the cash. Okay, those money fall under money laundering. Uh, second to it, those folks uh, who are in casino, those casino people play. So which the sheet tax, okay, they take sheeters, okay. So they will have a lot of money in cash, uh, which also call what a money laundering. They will have a lot of money in cash because they are tax sheeters. That's why they were charging my best friend Donald Trump about money laundering. That is a tax sheeter. So the second source of money laundering. And the third uh, source of money laundering is from the corrupt officials who can corrupt the country and then now they cannot put their money in the system because they will ask them where the source of income so and they have money in cash so fall under the money laundering so I want to clarify these people were confused what is that money laundering mean uh, so now uh, then I was taken to court uh, when they read the charges for me or money laundering I flee guilty I say yes, I'm a money launderer, but Uganda and other countries, there's no country on earth that can arrest me of money laundering because I've been exempt from America, uh, from CIA and FBI. I have been exempt, okay, anti-money laundering 